The Earth's crust holds evidence of numerous catastrophes. However, 65 million years ago, one of the largest of them occurred. The dinosaurs were completely wiped out from the face of the Earth, and despite their extinction being fairly well known and studied, the answer to the most crucial question still remains a mystery. What really happened back then? Hello, dear friends. In today's video, we will tell you about the most popular theories regarding the extinction of dinosaurs. But before we begin, we would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to not miss out on our new interesting videos about the mysteries of our planet and the universe. The oldest and most widespread hypothesis links the extinction of dinosaurs to the impact of an asteroid. Initially, researchers were led to this idea by the elevated levels of elements not typical for the Earth's crust in sediments dating back 65 million years, precisely when dinosaurs are believed to have become extinct. Later, the catastrophe became associated with a specific impact event, the formation of the Chicxulub crater on the Yucatan Peninsula. So, what happened there? About 66 million years ago, a collision with a 12 kilometers in diameter asteroid occurred. The deadly impact happened at a speed of 43,000 kilometers per hour and caused irreversible changes in the environment, potentially leading to the mass extinction of numerous species. Billions of tons of rock vaporized in an instant and were ejected into the atmosphere as ash and soot. The crater, several kilometers deep, began filling with ocean water, colliding with magma and instantly turning into steam. On the continental coasts, tsunamis up to 100 meters high crashed. The hot shockwave circumnavigated the globe multiple times, causing numerous fires. The seismic wave from the impact led to a more than tenfold increase in deck and traps eruptions, which also had its own impact. The Earth was covered in a dust cloud and, according to modern reconstructions, the planet plunged into darkness for several years. Even on a sunny day, the sky resembled a full moon night. The impact site was the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico, containing colossal gypsum deposits. When vaporized, it turned into sulfur aerosols, causing acid rains that instantly increased the acidity of ocean waters. Global annual temperatures dropped by 20 degrees Celsius and did not rise above plus 4 degrees for a couple of decades. In the end, at least 75% of all living organisms, including all dinosaurs, were wiped off the face of the Earth. It took about a million years to restore the biosphere and overcome the negative consequences of the extinction, resulting in a new distribution of species in which mammals took on a leading role. While this hypothesis is predominant among scientists, there are a couple of questions that prevent it from being considered 100% accurate. Why did only dinosaurs completely go extinct, while turtles, crocodiles, snakes, birds, and mammals were much less affected by the asteroid? Let's explore other hypotheses proposed by scientists. An alternative cosmic cause of extinction could have been a nearby supernova explosion, causing deadly radiation streams to rain down on the planet. However, this hypothesis has the same drawbacks as the previous one. Moreover, traces of a flash capable of destroying all life within a radius of 30 light-years would likely have been detected by modern telescopes from such a small, in astronomical terms, distance, even after 65 million years. But no remnants of supernova have been found in the Earth's immediate vicinity. Nevertheless, the source of radiation did not necessarily have to be a star deciding to end its life with special effects and maximum damage to its surroundings. A similar effect could have been caused, for example, by a temporary shutdown of the planet's magnetic field, protecting the biosphere from cosmic particle streams. Earth's magnetic field does indeed weaken and change polarity from time to time, disappearing during the air-switching of poles. However, over the last five million years, the polarity reversal has occurred 20 times without any consequences for the planet's inhabitants. Could the cause of the extinction of dinosaurs have been on Earth? The first thing that comes to mind is climate change, and indeed, the climate on the planet was undergoing changes during that time. Throughout most of the Cretaceous period, it was surprisingly warm. Polar ice caps were absent, and even in the northern regions of modern Siberia, conditions resembled a Mediterranean resort. Dinosaurs and mammals were found at the very poles. It began to cool 70 million years ago. However, firstly, the process was gradual. In the early Paleogene, around 66 million years ago, 
deciduous forests still thrived in northern Greenland. Secondly, the appearance of ice caps only shifted the habitable zone towards the equator. Warm-loving crocodiles simply migrated southward to previously uninhabited territories. During the Cretaceous period, subtropical, tropical, and equatorial zones were deserts scorching like Death Valley and dry like the Atacama. In any case, the cooling did not give an advantage to ancient mammals. Dinosaurs were not deterred even by the polar night. Small predatory theropods hid in burrows during winter and entered a state of hibernation. Snow-covered Diplodocus simply stood still, conserving heat. Some reptiles even learned to use the warmth of hot springs to incubate their egg. Calling dinosaurs completely warm-blooded, maintaining a body temperature at 25 degrees was certainly not accurate. On the other hand, the same applied to primitive mammals. Could dinosaurs have perished due to changes in the atmosphere that continued throughout the entire Cretaceous period? The oxygen concentration in the air, initially reaching 40%, gradually decreased to modern levels towards the end of the period which caused cooling carbon dioxide concentration 10 times higher during the age of reptiles than now began to fall. However, atmospheric changes occurred extremely slowly and it's unclear how they could have affected the interests of dinosaurs. Nevertheless, there were casualties. In the middle of the Cretaceous period, ichthyosaurs became extinct. With a high oxygen concentration, pulmonary respiration gave a clear advantage to cold-blooded reptiles over gill-breathing sharks. But when oxygen became scarcer, the question arose, do we need such reptiles if ordinary fish are no worse? Oxygen accumulated during the Jurassic period even more lush and abundant than the Cretaceous. Then, the excess of this gas was buried in the form of grand deposits of calcium carbonate, giving the name to the geological period, the Cretaceous. All catastrophic hypotheses share one drawback. They do not explain why specific reptile orders became extinct. The answer to the disappearance of dinosaurs must lie in the peculiarities of their biology. And there are no shortcomings in hypotheses explaining extinction from this point of view. Dinosaurs reproduced by laying eggs with a hard shell. Since the shell must allow air to pass through, the egg itself cannot be too large. Consequently, dinosaur offspring hatched tiny compared to adult. Moreover, although the most intelligent of reptiles began to show care for their offspring, guarding nests and young, they had nothing to feed their offspring. A dinosaur that did not receive concentrated food in the form of milk and had to forage for itself from the first days of existence grew slowly. It took several decades for a large lizard to reach maturity. Even the most advanced reptiles had colossal infant mortality, and mammals took advantage of this circumstance. Without directly challenging adult reptiles, insectivores nonetheless competed with young dinosaurs forced to feed on beetles and lizards. The trigger for the catastrophe was most likely the appearance of grass. The absence of grass cover distinguished landscapes of the Cretaceous period, adorned only with fern bushes and patches of moss from modern ones. The green carpet, creating turf and preventing soil erosion and washing, appeared on Earth 70 million years ago. Under the cover of grassy thickets, which allowed hunting for larvae during the day and limited visibility, reducing the role of vision in hunting, primitive hedgehogs launched a decisive offensive. The scales tipped in favor of mammals. First to fall, several million years before the end of the Cretaceous, were small predatory theropods. Among them were the most progressive of reptiles, warm-blooded velociraptors, and into the breach rushed hordes of ancient rodents from the order of multituberculates. By the same tactic, reducing resources available to young dinosaurs, small creatures, not distinguished by intelligence or agility, overthrew majestic Diplodocus in the competitive struggle. However, it was not easy to eat all the grass, and the carnage in the meadows, not completed in the Jurassic, continued into the Paleogene. The last to perish were the Triceratops, which managed to adapt to a grass diet, and the most famous of reptiles, the Tyrannosaurs. In one way or another, the mystery of the death of dinosaurs is not yet fully solved and leaves plenty of room for scientific thought. But one thing can be certain, that someday it will be deciphered. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel to not miss out on new interesting videos about the mysteries of our universe. Write in the comments what you would like to learn in the next videos. Thank you and see you next time.